Hi, my name is Andrea Lampert. This is my daughter, Sydney Lawrence. Today we're going to demonstrate some sensory motor integration techniques. The first thing we're going to do is look at the labial facilitation points to get the mouth ready. If she was hypertense, um, we, we would be doing some deep muscle massaging along the facilitation points, which are here, 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 and here. And we would just keep going around the mouth like so. If she was hypertonic, hypotonic, we would be doing a tapping approach to wake up the muscles and get them ready to fire. Okay, and we would just keep going around doing those. Um, once the mouth is ready, then we would be doing some um, ex exercises. The first exercise we would do is getting the lips to purse. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take a frozen swab and we're going to circle the obicularis oris. Several times. And then, Sydney, would you please purse your lips? And then we're going to go in, make inward strokes like this. Okay. All right. So now, Sydney, would you please say ooh, ooh, sue, sue, boo, boo, two, two. Okay. We're having her do those exercises to establish <coughs> some functional motor patterns. The next exercise we're going to do is um, to get an individual to retract their lips. Um, if what we're going to do is we're going to stroke across like this and again stroke across and then we're going to do some little inward strokes like this okay now I want you to smile okay now say e, e. me, me. B. B. Great, thank you. Now we're going to stimulate, stimulate some unilateral lip weakness. <coughs> so what we're going to do is, again, we're going to take another cold swab, and we want to go from the stronger side to the weak side. So for our today's purposes, we're going to say that her left side is the weak side. So we're going to circle clockwise this way, and then we're going to also reverse our circle and go this way, then we're going to go back around this way, and back around this way. Um, Sydney has oral, or reg normal oral musculature, so um, everything is doing as it should, but we're also, let's, if this is the affected area, we're going to stroke it this way. Whoops. Okay, and again, I want you to smile, and I want you to say, E. Me, T, B. All right, great, thank you. Now we're going to do some thermal sti stimulation to the fascial pillars um, in order to increase sensory awareness of the fascial pillars. And basically, what we're going to be doing is waking up the sensory receptors um, and prepare them to swallow a bolus. Okay. And what I need you to do is go say, ah. Uh. All right, and we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Do you feel anything? Okay, what do you feel? Does it feel cold on there? Yeah, it's like cold back here. Okay, we're going to try that one more time. I'll try not to gag you. Can you put your tongue down? Uh. All right, and we're gonna. I can't see in there. Ah, there we go. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. The next exercise we're going to do is in increase the palatal reflex trigger. We're going to do one stroke just quickly behind the nasal spine and in front of the uvula. Okay? Can you open your mouth? I'm going to take this tongue compressor. Ah. Uh. 
Alright, and we're going to go back in there. Okay. Uh, trying to get that to, okay, move up. Okay, ah, let me uh, see. Ah, there we go. I got it. I felt it. Sorry. <gasps> okay. I'm sorry. Again, we're going to, um, this time though, we're going to do an, another exercise to increase palatal reflex triggers, but we're going to do three strokes, three vertical strokes. We're going to start with the weaker side first, going to the stronger side, and then in the center. Okay, I need... Ah. Uh. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three. Okay, I'm going to do it one more time. One, two, three. <coughs> Sorry. Okay. All right. Did you feel it go up, though? Yeah. I saw it go up. Okay. Now we're going to increase the tongue base retraction. Again, do um, you want to take a drink or something? Yeah. Here you go. Okay. So we're going to go from the weaker side to the stronger side. Just keep going. <laughs> okay. So again, th this is our weaker side here. So we're going to take it and go like that. Okay. And did you feel your tongue pulling back? Yeah. Okay. Um, now we're going to do a different exercise um, for the um, increasing the tongue base retraction. This time we're going to go stroke down the uvula and I'm going to put my hands here and here. Well, I'm going to switch hands. I think that would be better. Um, I need to here put your neck down. Okay. And then actually, let's see. Alright. I'm going to stroke um, and there you go. <laughs> okay. And I did feel your tongue go back. Okay. We're going to try that again. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Now we're going to do a an exercise to increase lingual curling response. Okay. This one, it won't be, I promise, won't try to gag you. We're just going to go down from the face to the tip of your tongue, trying to get your tongue to curl. Okay, look at that, it's starting to curl. Good. Good job. Okay. Alright, thank you. Now we're going to reduce elevation in the posterior tongue, um, we're going to get another frozen swab, and this time we're going to do one, one, two, two, three, three, and four. Let's try that again. I'm trying to get that tongue to go down. One, one, two, two. Three, three, four. Okay, did you I did you happen to feel that it was going back down mm -hmm. there? Okay. Um now we're going to elongate and elevate the tongue trip tongue tip. Um we're gonna do long, even quick strokes. Okay, this time we're gonna stay away from the center. Um and then we're gonna try to get that tongue tip to cur elevate. Okay, one one, two, two, three, three, all right, good, okay, now we're going to do that one more time, and let me grab another one, okay, one, one, two, two, three, three, up, 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 touch the top of your teeth. Good job. All right. Now we're going to do another um, exercise. This one is just going to 
elevate that tongue tip. Um, we're going to be doing it on the lateral side. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, up, 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 up. Okay, now we're going to do this. We're going to do it again. We're going to do one, two, three, four, up, up, up. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do a different exercise to elevate the tongue tip um, from the underneath. So what I need you to do is let me get, well, you're doing a great job elevating <laughs> here, but let, just raise it a little bit and then we'll do one, two, <laughs> All right, good. Good job. Okay. Oh, do you need a drink? Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. All right, and now we have one more exercise to do, and I really thank you for being a good sport, okay? So our last one is to reduce lingual deviation and protrusion. That would be if somebody had a stroke and they um, and that when they stuck their tongue out, the tongue would kind of deviate to the stronger side. Okay, so basically we're going to say that this is your weaker side again, that right, the, the left side. So ready? We're gonna one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do one, two, three, four. And we're gonna do up, 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 up. And then we're gonna do that. Let's try that again. We're gonna do one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do sweep, 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 sweep. And then up, 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 up. All right. Thank you very much. And that concludes our video.